Hi, my name is Chris Ryan. Welcome to the Forest of Arden. And today in this video, we're talking about what I tend to see as the three most common grip faults. So if you're a golfer out there who is struggling to play the game, you're struggling with shots that maybe go to the right, to the left, you're maybe not hitting the ball as far as you would like, there is a decent chance that your grip could be playing a part in that. And we're gonna go through, as I say, the three most common faults that I see. Two of those are related to the top hand, and one of those is related to the bottom hand. So we're first of all gonna talk about the top hand, and number one is where the grip is placed within that hand. I would tend to see far too many golfers where at setup, the grip is too much through the palm of the hand. So it's too much through the lifeline. What that really means is very often, when they have their hand open, those fingers point down towards the ground. What we would like to see is the golf club running more through the fingers, and you can see how I've now got my fingers pointing more back towards my knees. What this is going to do is going to help you hold that club a little bit more in the fingers, and basically it's going to give you a greater range of motion in your wrists. So if I hold that golf club correctly, without moving my forearm, I should be able to get the golf club up to about horizontal. And you can see I can do that there. If I do get that golf club too much through the palm, which I see all too commonly, fingers pointing at the ground, without moving my forearm, I have a really limited range of motion. So those golfers will find that in the backswing, they don't generate as much power as they would like to. They often can't create the right amount of wrist set. They often compensate for that by bending or flexing that lead arm, and they get that look at the top, which they don't particularly like. So if you feel that you're not generating the power that you should, your lead arm tends to flex too much at the top. Take a look at that lead hand grip. It may well be that it's too much through the palm. If we can get it more through the fingers, we've got a much better chance of creating some good leverage in that lead hand. The second fault that I tend to see is also in the lead hand, and it's a grip which is too weak. So what do we mean by too weak? Well, by too weak, we mean that the thumb or the hand are rotated too much underneath the golf club. Now, I see this a lot because golfers are looking at maybe where the golf club is placed, they tend to hold the hand too much under the golf club, and then they might well get it right in the fingers, but because the hand is facing away from them too much, the lead hand is too weak. And you can see how my thumb sits slightly on this side of the handle, and I can't see the back of my hand at all. Now, when I have this weak grip, there's a very, very good chance that when I return to impact, the club face is going to be open to the target. So it's going to point to the right. Those golfers very often compensate for that by trying to swing the club to the left of the target. They also have a tendency to release the club much, much earlier than they need to in an attempt to square that club face. Some of the golfers achieve this, but they won't strike the ball particularly well, the flight won't be very good, and it certainly won't be the feels that they're after down at impact. So let's make sure that once we have got the golf club in the fingers, we have this lead hand where my thumb sits slightly right of center. You can see that the crease formed between my thumb and my index finger points somewhere to the right of my chin, and I can definitely see the first two knuckles on my lead hand. The final fault that I tend to see is in the trail hand, and I often see that being too strong. So too strong is very, very similar to the left hand, where the palm faces too much away from me, and my thumb sits too much on the side of the handle. Now what this does, again, it sort of limits how much I can use my wrists. It makes it very difficult for me to create a good set in the backswing. And the way that I will compensate for that is by shutting the face down to enable me to create that leverage. So those golfers who have a very, very strong right hand, again, can often find that the club face gets very much out of control. They don't control the golf club particularly well through the golf swing, and that can lead to a variety of different shots, left being one of them. Unfortunately, all too often, I see all three present in a golf grip where it's too much through the palm, it's too weak in the top hand, and it's too strong in the bottom hand. This is a very, very common grip that I see. Unfortunately, those golfers are going to struggle to play the best golf that they can play. They're going to be limited into how much power they can uh, generate. They're going to be limited as to how well they can control the club face, how well they can create their impact position, and ultimately, they're just going to make the game a little bit harder for themselves. So if you feel like your grip might not be as good as it could be, there is a decent chance that you're going to fall into one of those three categories. You may unfortunately fall into two. You may unfortunately be one of those golfers who falls into all three. If you do fall into all three, I would suggest that you maybe look at that, maybe address some of those issues and get that grip looking a little bit more neutral. I'm just going to place my hands on the golf club how I would hold it. So through the fingers, lead hand is fairly neutral. Trail hand is also fairly neutral. My th bottom thumb sits slightly to the left of the golf club. And you can see there that that would be my neutral grip. So let's give it a hit down this 12 fairway. 
I've only got a midine, but I should be able to hit that target. Okay, so grip, such an important part of your golf swing. It's the only contact point we have with the golf club. Getting it correct can certainly help a lot of golfers improve their performance out on the golf course. Thank you for watching. All the usual stuff is down below. There's a like button, there's a comments box, and if you are not a subscriber, I would urge you to do so. It's absolutely free, and it just means that you won't miss any of the videos. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you again soon.